Why am I wearing a hard hat? Uh, OSHA regulations. So welcome. Welcome to another one of these uh, little map making streams. And today, if you didn't catch it, said it about a billion times, uh, I'm going to be making a tavern. I'm going to try my best. Um, interiors are something I struggle with to make look... Uh, not, I, I, I want to say I, I struggle with them to make them look as good as I want them to look. Um, so this is going to be an interesting test. Um, but there's also going to be uh, an exterior of the tavern. It's going to be kind of a whole, whole uh, map. I was just going to, I was going to separate it, but uh, I'm going to do it all as one. So without further ado, I'm going to click on the thing. We're going to go into Battle Maps 2.0, and I am going to just use landscape. I almost exclusively use landscape. And the reason for that is because I have a, um, in my stream, I have like a, uh, slideshow in the BRB screens and all of them have the same resolution, so I can just use my landscape map stall for that. So first things first, I'm gonna throw up the grid here and probably keep it, uh, same, uh, the default size. Okay, I'm a noob, but I figured out how to chat. Hey, <laughs> I did indeed make it. Well, welcome. Glad to have you here. I'm glad you figured out how to chat. That's the first step. Uh, so we're going to turn the grid on, we're going to leave it on default, and then the big thing that I forgot to do in my little test, I made a little test map just to kind of practice some techniques. Um, I'm going to actually turn this all into foreground. And the reason for that is because there's going to be stamps I use that interact well with the foreground and not so much with the background and that'll make hopefully will make sense later um but here we go uh so i'm gonna make the whole thing foreground and then the tavern itself is going to be background so that i can work on the tavern with the brush without kind of spilling over I, i've never learned how to draw within the lines as a child so i'm just going to uh cheat here so, uh, I've already got it kind of measured out here because I didn't want to try and figure it out on the fly. It looks like 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 6 plus 8 is 14. 14? 5, 6? And this is why I figured this, uh, or I kind of mapped it out ahead of time, just like a rough version, because I didn't want to try and figure out the, um, like, uh, dimensions on the fly. <laughs> Straight lines are the bane to my existence. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? 9 by 4, 8, 12. 9 by 12. Let's do 9 by 12. Oops. 9 by 12. This doesn't have to be exact, but a little uh, oven down here. You're a thief? <laughs> you like stealing from your workplace. I'm a rouge. Uh, oh yeah, and I also almost always turn off mask effects uh, for battle maps. I don't usually use them. I don't know. Okay, so that's our... That's our basic uh, layout of the tavern, uh, and then I'm going to do a couple more things here. I'm going to just paint the ground like, I don't know, colors. Snap tool we're going to make. This is going to be like a... Uh, what's it called? Like a little cellar area where they keep the casks. And I've already got this uh, kind of planned out. And then we're going to have a staircase. Goes up to second level. And then from there, we just start slapping down some walls. So we're going to start with the interior. And I was testing out walls the other day, and I found... Hashtag walls. Uh, I was, like, to me, these don't look like two-door walls. Two-door walls, or two-door walls, or I don't know how to pronounce it. Are like those white walls with like the wood like diagonal pieces I think these are like cobblestone walls so I don't I don't know if that's a misprint or just like 
maybe th these are actually two door walls and I'm wrong, probably. But I found the look I really like is uh, desert, narrow limestone walls, and advanced filters turn the saturation down to. Yeah, you pretty much turn it down to zero. And using these as the walls, uh, I found looked a lot better. And we'll put the walls at like, I don't know, two? So yeah, we'll just slap down these walls and overlap a bit. <clears throat> Two-door walls look more like wood hatches, almost like a cross hatch if you were drawing in that kind of style, yeah. Just the ones in Incarnate are, are very cobblestone-y, and that's not really what I'm going for. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. I can just overlap them. Um, yeah, Poodle Hats, I barely touched the um, desert... Uh, desert tile sets. Oh. I am not... I'm going to switch walls at this point. We'll, we'll go limestone up to this point, and then we're going to switch after that. Um, so I... Kind of discovered these by accident. I really ought to do another playthrough of Chrono Trigger. I've been listening to nothing but Chrono Trigger soundtrack or remixes for their every single time I've done a project in the last you know, two weeks. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Welcome to Fungin's stream where he always sings the praises of Chrono Trigger Final Fantasy. That's what you can expect to see. Uh, yeah, they all should be layer two. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> that's that's the. Uh, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Hey, Poodles, thanks for the coffee. Um, they could, but the, the, the bot or whatever that, uh, that, uh, senses, senses the music, um, it can't tell that I'm not playing Chrono Trick right now, I guess? I don't know. I, I have seen so many people use old school video game music in their streams, so I'm gonna do it. If I get in trouble, then I get in trouble and I'll, I'll beg for forgiveness. You praise Earth Brown? Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Am I crazy? Where's the wall I want? Dwarven, there we go. So for the uh, cellar area, we're gonna do uh, these uh, sort of cobblestone uh, walls. Okay. Would have uh, made these to make it, I don't I don't actually know how old school taverns were constructed, but I imagine like a cellar would have like stone walls to keep it, uh, keep everything a lot cooler. Um, I don't know if that's true. Uh, I'm not a medieval engineer. Um, so yeah. That's the end of that story. Something like that. It'll be a little entrance there. And we can extend these bad boys. Just like that. Sure they match up. Copy paste. If at any point uh, anyone wants me to explain what I'm doing, because I kind of go a little bit on autopilot or has a question, don't uh, worry about asking. Just go ahead and slam it out there. Not mind. I am not the authority on uh, incarnate or map making, but I do uh, I do make a lot of maps, so <laughs> I don't know. Haven't been able to stream lately. Yeah, I only get one a week. Poodle hats with the baby. I want to do more. Uh, oh, let's save.
Uh, we're gonna call this tavern uh, battle map. Sure, why not? Birds isn't around this time. Why do you want to? Uh, you want to bug him and insult him further as you do? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Well, actually, I should say fortunately. Um, one of our one of our regular players uh, got married, so he's uh, spending some extra time with his his new wife. Which is good um, but that means we're gonna we're holding off D&D till next week be back next week for chromatic chromatic Empress so that should be good I'm very excited so we're gonna have these little uh, um, pillory uh, pillory guys here what happened <laughs> what happened to old Merrick's old wife I, I realized as soon as I said it that someone was probably going to ask that. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for him too. It was a great wedding. In fact, we actually got a picture um, of all our D&D crew in one place. The only picture, I think, that exists of all of us in one place in person. So um, I want to share that to the Discord once I get a get a hold of that so um, we're gonna go every third one I think kind of bum, bum, bum. every third one except for there so. wait what happened here why does that not line up This one longer than my other one? <laughs> Is it? Oh no, it's because I'm an idiot. The middle one's uh Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, sorry, try to keep up with chat here. Uh do we all play a homebrew at running a mod? Uh we so we are <laughs> Hey Logan. Or Chunksy. I'm gonna use your real name. Um, where was that? Jen, we are actually doing both. So, um, my campaign that I run is a is my own homebrew world, and then um, to put to ease off myself so I don't have to do um, a campaign every week, we also run uh, Odyssey of the Dragon Lords um, module. Which is really fun. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this uh, guy here and I'm gonna put it low layer and I'm gonna use this as like a ruler to kind of line up because I want to put pillars going across but I want them to line up vertically well. Height! Oh god! Look at that! It's lovely. Let's line that up kind of middle Middle like. Ah, oh, Sunbreak. I wish I could play Sunbreak. I mean, I could, but... Do I play 5e or am I a cultured person and ignore it? <laughs> we're 5e scum. So, Shadowrunner, we were, we were playing um, Pathfinder. We weren't playing that live, and then we kind of made the decision to switch to... Um, I, re I really like Pathfinder, but I think... A lot of our group were a bit too busy to be as much into the rules as we need to be to make it uh, not a slog. Yeah, these pillars are going to be great. Excited. Um, put a little old guy there. So here's here's something that you might enjoy, map makers. Among among you, um, so you see these like, poopy little sections where they line uh they bash together and it looks like like a dog's breakfast i have recently and, and this may not be something that i discovered in fact i doubt it. i'm sure people have been doing this forever but this little doodad here is for this is for making these look smooth so there you go i only started recently recently started doing that
shocked face. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's obvious, but I, I, I didn't know. And there's a corner one, too. I did not know that. <laughs> well, I'm glad you love it here. We love having you. I'm going to DM a homebrew session in the future. It's my first time doing so. I'm actually not sure what I need to be writing down. Well, Poodle Hats, if you ever need uh, a hand doing that, and if, assuming I have time, um, I would uh, I would love to, um, to help you out with that, it, whether it's like foundry tips or like incarnate map making stuff. Let me know. Yeah, I guess some of the walls don't have that, eh? Yeah. Um, and I like to turn off the grid every now and then, because sometimes the grid uh, hides details. But that's looking pretty pretty good, I think. So it just makes the walls look a lot smoother. And, uh, ooh, I wanted to actually put a couple more uh, pillars here. I put them last time, put like one there. And, uh, I'm in like really random spots, I'm not really sure why. On my, uh... On my guide. <laughs> let's let's make that not so. Looks good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Wood, swage, uh, and then we're gonna do some stairs. Um, rustic, rustic stairs. Time for plumbing and electrical. <laughs> yeah. You remember how overtuned Garuga legs were in uh, Iceborne? Weren't they overtuned in uh, multiple games? But yes, I do. Are they like super ridiculous now? Oh, is Garuga in um, Sunbreak? Also, I'm gonna. Nice. 10 out of 10. I screwed up. I'm gonna change this. I like to make these stairs. It's a little bit too uh, bright. I'm gonna kind of saturate it just a touch. It's half. Turn it. We'll put it down on layer one for stairs or something. Um, that's gonna go up there. All the master rank armor feels like Garuga legs. Nice. Yeah. Don't look anything up. And then another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna turn off shadows. It's on mixed. I don't like the shadows because I like to add my own. That's just something I'll. I don't know. I, most, I mostly do that for like every asset. I'll turn off the shadows and add my own if I remember. Uh, sometimes I forget. Most of the time I forget. Uh, and then we're gonna take uh, extra. Uh, this is background. Everything outside is foreground and the tavern is background. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna look for some uh, wood floor, I guess. Um, keep this one. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, size, ooh, 50, I think. Let's see. Station 90, just to turn it sideways. And I might just, uh, I might just slap it down like this. Do I like that color, though? I don't like that color, kind of like, uh... Clashes with these. That better. God. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do. All right, see. So I'm gonna take these pillars and I'm gonna darken them a bit. That's what I'm gonna do. Ba 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 ba. Yeah. Do I hate that? Or do I love that? Robot! Uh, and then we're going to... Filters... Can I saturate it? Like... I feel like... What have I done here? I feel like that's gotta be up here. Maybe, maybe I've done this wrong. Here, I'll do this. Getting these colors right, I remember this in my little practice one was was a big pain. So I want to make the stair portion look different than the uh, 
downstairs portion. Oh, I kind of like that a little, a little better. A little bit brighter downstairs. Yeah, the stairs should definitely be a different color. Shadowrunner, use the same wood grain. Lower the opacity on it, make it darker, and feather it like foot traffic has worn it out. Oh, yeah. How am I pasting in specific sections? So I'm using um, uh, the shape rectangle tool up here, and then I have it snap so it snaps the grid, and then I just uh, I just apply, and I can move it around, and uh, yeah, and it's on background right now, so yeah. This is almost matching this. So I, I keep in mind I haven't done any of the shading, and at the end I'm gonna shade the crap out of it. So uh, we'll get to that. Um, what I want to do is I want to, uh, actually finish up these stairs. So if I go to railing, uh, gothic railing, I'm going to kind of like, get this man a coffee on co on coffee. If you're checking out the coffee, there are lots of free maps on there. I think I only have one map pack that's actually, like, has a dollar sign attached to it. So by all means, if you need maps for your games or whatever, or just want to see them, I'll, uh, actually, here, here's what I'll do. There you go. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> Shameless plug. Dropping four, like, map packs. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get him hooked. <laughs> uh, Shadowrunner, you'll have to remind me. Um, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to place your, uh, your Twitch name with your Twitter name. I think I know what it is, but I don't want to, I don't want to make the guess and get it wrong. been so many new friends. I knew it was Chep, yes. Richard, how's it going? I figured it was you, but I didn't want to be like, oh, hey, Chip, and then, you know, if you weren't Chip. <laughs> so many new people have joined lately that it's, it's, I, I already struggle with names. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah, so this is going to be like a little balcony that's overhanging um, the sort of the first floor of the bar or tavern, which I really wanted to do. Like normally I have my stairs as like a separate walled off section, but I like the idea of a balcony because I want that height differential. And I've been really trying to put those in my maps It's height differentials to just like make make things more interesting, right? Combat's more interesting, like the RP stuff's more interesting when you've got those height differentials. And hey, the railing's got that little uh, doodad that this one had. These little pieces that you can uh, fix your... Uh, fix your little parts that don't quite line up. Now, this doesn't work perfectly, but it's a little bit better, I think, than the what it was before. Who the hell's going to zoom in this far anyways, right? If you do, it's your own fault for seeing... Uh, the flaws in my maps. We have a rule in my D&D uh, &D campaign that you can't zoom in on the maps. I'm kidding. I don't know, Logan, how often do you zoom in on the map? There you go. So now it looks kind of like one smooth piece. Let me just double check. Yeah, so it looks like one piece now. Fairly often. <laughs> well. Uh, let's turn the softness down, and I'm just going to basically just paint this out to here, so. Now, it looks okay now, right? Like, it... You're not looking for defects? It looks okay now, right? It looks like there's... Oh, it's, it's a thing. Like, but it's only going to look really good. What's going on here? That's what's going on here. Yep, I knew it. It's going to look a lot better when I add, like, a shadow under this. Then you'll be like, okay, that's a balcony. So, 
But we'll get to the shading. I don't want to jump the uh, jump the gun here. So we'll take these and we're gonna add little uh, pillars or something. Pillars or something. That's what these are. Get my grid out so I can line them up properly. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, do I want them there or do I want them here? No, I want them there. I think. Yeah, sure. That looks good. Do I use many sh keyboard shortcuts? Um, I do. Uh, there's quite a few that I use now subconsciously because I've logged like, I don't know, a thousand hours in an incarnate. Um, and it was interesting because I only really started realizing that when I when I did the uh, the Chris tutorial stream uh, last week. Because I was like saying like, oh, you do this by pressing this. He's like, wait, what? And I had to slow down and like, okay, I actually use quite a few. Oh, keystroke overlay. That's interesting. Ah, very good idea. I will remember that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a really good idea. Door. Um, I like the Victorian door paneling. And we'll put it at like layer one or something. Make it a thick boy. Nope, that's a long boy. There we go. How much progress have I made? Hey, Graham! Uh, not too much. Just made the walls. We're kind of just um, getting this... Uh... Yeah, we're not, not too much at all. We've only been going for about 35 minutes, so you haven't missed much. I spent the first 10 minutes uh, dicking around with uh, sound and whatnot, so... Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you can make it. Speaking of uh, coffee, Graham has, or G. Bloodworth, has uh, quite a few awesome free map packs available on their coffee sites. So. Incredible maps. As well as uh, Chip, Chip, Shadowrunner. Do it! As long as it's not to, like, something horrible. Thanks for the follow, Graham. So, okay, so I'll explain what I just did there. I have a exterior door here, so I put it on either side. And then this is going to be just the door up to, um, up to the second floor. Yeah, that's your, that's your guitar clip, dude. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some doors in there. Uh, while we're on the subject, let's do some windows. And I'm going to do this wooden window. Or this window? Yeah, okay. We'll do this one. And we'll add some windows. Kind of 10 out of 10. There we go. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes I make the door extra thick and, and fit both sides of the walls, but then it's like a big chubby door, <laughs> and it looks a little bit weird. <laughs> so, door on either side. It, it feels good. Couple winders. Uh... I think that's good for windows. I'm trying to think, um, trying to think how many windows an old time tavern would have, but I think like a couple on one side just to get the sunlight in. There wouldn't be any windows in the in the uh, cellar, I don't think, because they want to keep it cold. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot the door. Let's just do like something like this. Like that. So I'm going to keep it open, actually. That door doesn't look long enough to reach there, but I'm not going to I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Um and then yeah, this little area here. So textures is just going to be uh, uh lava. This is going to be cobblestone. Uh 
Uh, ooh, stone wall. Nah, we'll do cobblestone. And 50, what is 50 look like? 50 is good. 50. Rotation 50. I meant 90. Uh, oh. Discoveries. Okay, we gotta fix that. We gotta fix that. Can you imagine if I didn't get that? This map would be ruined. Uh, let's turn the softness back up. Okay. So that's basically our tavern layout in a nutshell. So these pillars here would be um, essentially be kind of like holding up. It'd be like a, I don't know, support beam all the way across or something holding up this side. And also going to have uh, pillars allow me to have places where I can hang some lanterns for some ambient light. I imagine that uh, old time taverns would have like some lantern rings or something. Um, you know, because there wasn't electricity and whatnot. And I think... I'm going to add, like, a stage here. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to make it a different kind of wood so it stands out a bit more. Like these thinner... Thinner planks. Do like that. Uh, he's on like an angle or something. Yeah, that way he stands out a bit more. It's that kind of tavern. <laughs> um kind of be like that and I will get rid of that shadow that's why I don't like the shadow too much because it's like this staircase is somehow casting a shadow on the thing it leads up to um, we'll fix that where am I putting the bar uh, bar is going to be uh, just like a table that kind of is like here it's going gonna, it's gonna to jut out here and there's going to be a couple stools so basically the bartender has this whole area. He's going to have some like maybe some shelving, some little seats or something here you can sit on. Um, and then this whole area is going to be where he keeps all his kegs because he's going to keep them in a cold place. Going to walk out, grab grab his ales, then come back out to the bar and serve or come out here. Oh yeah, 100%. I've, I've, I've mostly turned off the shadows and everything. Right, we're going to have the stage kind of jet out to the middle here as well. Turn off the grid and let's put some... What did I use last time that looks so okay? I used like a fence last time, I think. Uh, oops. What are these? Let's put these at layer one. That's yeah, a little fence for the performer's safety. These aren't lined up. No! Um... Trez? Yeah. Trez? Trez? Boop, boop. And we'll just kind of shorten them a little bit. Be a little one there, too. A little onesie.
There we go. And while I'm here, I may as well kind of finish up the stuff on the stage. We'll put a chair up there. And I'm going to put the grid just so I can kind of get the scale right. Nothing like putting a chair or like a guitar or something that's like 20 feet long. I mean, as it stands, this guitar would probably be about seven feet long, according to the, the grid. So, let's not think about it. There we go. Chair on the stage will never not make me think of flash dance. <laughs> the yeah, um, I try not to get too hung up on it because, like, yeah, it's sometimes just ridiculous. Like, you're never gonna get the scale perfect, so just uh, you know, have fun with it. Table. You two turntables and a microphone. Yeah. My immersion. So yeah, the bar is going to kind of be here. And... I remember a certain wise man by the name of Graham once said, if you tilt things slightly, they look a lot better. Which I agree with. I can't remember when you said that, but you did say it. <laughs> uh, stool. Hope if I was actually like looking at the map I made to help myself. There it is. Yeah. It is. Nothing hurts the eyes like perfectly straight tables. So yeah, that's his little bar area. And from there they can go in here and get their tankards filled up. You know, they don't have a kitchen built in. Not every tavern is going to have a kitchen built in. They probably have some like salted jerky or like medieval potato chips or something. I don't know. Okay, so next is going to be, uh, we'll throw some tables down in front of these windows, I think. Um, I do like these tables. This isn't going to be an overly fancy tavern. Like these ones with a little bit of just a little bit of saturation. So Yeah, so they're gonna have a table in front of each window, I think. Gotta make sure the chairs actually fit. <laughs> A couple tables on the outside there. And probably a round table in the middle, I think. Would there be two? Is the question. An ice somnicanth. I think there'd be two. Yeah, that's a few tables. 
And I do like these chairs, so... We'll stick with these chairs. I make sure... The only thing I do care about scale is that things line up with each other. Like, so that this chair should be, you know... Kind of what the other ones are. Hey, Leah and Jen! Thanks for the coffee. Delicious, delicious coffee. How many you think? Chairs per table, like three? I think that's fair. And we'll, we'll tuck them in because this is a very neat establishment at the moment. <laughs> Although, maybe I do want to leave them untucked because if you tuck them all in, then there won't be any room for people to sit in them. I mean, I guess you'd just be throwing tokens over them anyways, so. Whatever. That'll be a uh, dealer's choice. Yeah, thanks for the coffee. Check out those maps. Get yourself some, some free maps on there. Otherwise, they're just going to sit there and rot away on the internet. <laughs> and I know you love a good stack of boxes. <laughs> Even after moving. <laughs> How was the move, by the way? Did everything go okay? Ooh, I like the three chair spread. That's interesting. My natural instinct was to go with four, but I kind of like three. Makes it look a little bit more unique, I think. I don't know. I kind of like that. Let's so after today. It's okay. There's so much stuff in the pod. Oh, yeah. What do you mean by pod? Did you like rent a... Is that like a U-Haul thing? What are these at? These are layer one? And I will add... Oh, it's another brand of moving thing. Okay. I thought U-Haul had like the monopoly on moving things. <laughs> oh, we probably do. Okay. There you go. Um, I'm going to add I'm going to add a bench. A long bench, a bench. It's probably a backless bench, I think. That is a long bench. That might be too long. I don't like it. It's too long. That is not height. I always get confused by height and width in uh, this program. I don't know. Yeah, there'll be a bench there, sure. So if there's... Seats are all taken. I don't know. Another bench there. And uh, we'll give... Uh, the bartender somewhere to sit. If they're tired. Well, I think I figured it out. I think... It depends on the, the natural... Um, natural position the default position so like this bench default position is like this right so height is going to change uh this axis let's just confirm that yeah and thus by confirming this one stamp i've confirmed all of them there i figured it out uh let's just go furniture let's see what we got here This is all broken stuff. Market. 
I want like a cabinet of some kind. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna. Da, 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 da. Some sort of cabinet. These are too fancy. It does say dresser. Or a uh, tavern. Yeah, so this is like a little cabinet. Maybe they keep uh, extra mugs or plates or whatever. Put that there. And box. Uh, or crate. It's a good china, yeah. <laughs> it's a tavern. They have nothing but company. I have a couple boxes here where... I don't know. Just for for purposes, I don't know. Some sort of reason. That's not what the missus says. <laughs> Save often. That's what the missus says. And the fun part. Uh Tank? No. What the hell are they called? Keg. What? What? Ale. You gotta be kidding me. Tavern. What? I... Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go food. Beer isn't food? Are you kidding me? What's going on here? Barrel? There it is, wine barrel. Oh, it's a wine barrel. That's like too fancy. I don't want it to be that fancy. I want it like this. So I'm gonna get creative here. First of all, I'm going to put somewhere where these uh, things are going to sit on top of this table here. I'm going to put some barrels there. Some kegs, rather, not barrels. And then we'll put a bunch of other ones here stacked up. that kind of lines up to how big it should be. Boxes. And what do I got here? Pipe. Is this going to work for me? Mm -hmm. Kind of turn into it my own little thing. You can barely see it. Like that. That's a minor detail. There. Probably be at the same angle. Three fifty-nine. Oh, that's the problem. Is uh, yeah. I gotta like reverse the angle, add one eighty to it. That's okay. They are pretty much good. Yeah, there you go. Kind of knows that.
Sweet. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to get to a point in this tavern. Because I want to do multiple versions. I want to do... Um, I want to do a day version. I want to do a night version. And I might want to do like a winter version. I don't know if I'm going to get all those done tonight. But those are just the versions that I want to do. So I'm going to get to a point where I want to actually duplicate this map um, rather than work too much in one direction and have to undo what I've done. Hey, Beatrix! I'm glad you can make it. Beatrix makes incredible maps. Half destroyed ver Hey, I love making destroyed versions. I could do that too. That's actually not a bad idea. Because I can just delete things and just like make it look poopy after. Um, Yeah, like a whirlwind's gone through the tavern. Yeah, so I think for now, every er, pretty much every version's going to have... Um, like food stuffs on the table and like tankards and whatnot, except for the destroyed version, but we'll, we'll get to that later. That's easy enough to deal with. Um, so let's go hashtag food. There's like tankards somewhere, buckets of milk. <laughs> Uh, okay, maybe not. Yeah, exactly. Battle damage, or maybe it's the tavern's abandoned. Who knows? I'll do a few different versions. Eventually. I won't be able to get them all done tonight. Um, let's put tankard. I, I know I've seen, like, a tankard somewhere. Where have I seen it? Mug? Hey, there you go. So, we'll leave the mugs as is, I think. So he's gonna... have a few kinda... Okay, I gotta turn this off. So, one thing I didn't realize until recently. If you leave randomized rotation on, you can't uh, tweak the rotation yourself other than using this thing because I use the period and comma keys so I sometimes turn it off so I can actually tweak the rotation well I don't know pro tip maybe couple there I'll have a collection of mugs on the go Right? <laughs> oh, Astral! Astral with the sick drop in. Ten months. <laughs> no, you did not make that sound. <laughs> you need to make another one. Jen, you do not owe me money for this. <laughs> Just having everyone here is is good enough. It's fun to make the map with other people. I was going to make the map anyway, so. The round platter still went. To oh, good call. Yes. Got to get those platters for those wenches. Is wench like a bad term? I feel like... I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Leah. Ooh, hype train is close. Look at that. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever call anyone a wench, obviously. <laughs> That's a bad move. Unless I was, like, transported back to, like, you know, medieval times. I feel like I'm a wench. <laughs> you are a wench. Today would be bad, yeah. Yeah, they weren't uh, super PC back in the 1500s. <laughs> Yes, I will put the round platter. That's a good call. Oh, 
Let's throw some mugs around here. Bum bum Lots of mugs. And you know what? This poor bard. This poor little bard is going to have a little table next to his guitar. Uh, if there's room, maybe if I just move these both over. He's going to have a little table there. A little mug of ale. Bard is thirsty. Do I think Feng Wei from Tekken could defeat a Shogun Sinatar? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't even have to think about that. Plat platter. Uh, I don't know if it'd be a silver platter. Blood splatter. Oh, shit! I train! Thanks for the sub, Jen. I have never experienced a hype train. I don't know I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Flatten all the tables and chairs, the most of the background, then color the liquid to the cups. Ooh. Choo choo. Medieval society of the Middle Ages high middle age, surprisingly egalitarian when it came to gender roles. Society was incredibly divided by class. Gender roles were a thing, but not as stringent as Hollywood have you believe. So wench is neither here nor there. Interesting. Choo choo! Get those, uh. Where is it? Hype Merrick. Where's all my. Freaking. What the fuck is Hype Train? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah there, this is what I wanted to do. This. <laughs> what if I just look up plate? Here we go. There we go. That's a better plate. A Hype Train is when a certain amount of people uh, do subscriptions. Oh, 45. Oh, <laughs> this is a great one. This is for you, Logan. <laughs> hey, that's not unnecessary. I love those facts. Yeah, I changed how the uh, blurp works. The bot's not quite working right now. I don't know what happened, but, uh, you know. Okay, so here's the platter. Maybe we'll add two in case there's a couple wenches to bring the ale. Gotta keep that ale flowing. Now that the hype train is going, I, I don't know what... I don't, I don't know what that means, so. You know, hype. Hype it up. Post those emotes. What kind of food are these people eating? Eggs? Uh, Rotten, what is that, ravioli? It is ravioli. Oh, shit! Thousand bits? Wow, Astral. That calls for a something. Uh There we go. <laughs> Things are getting crazy. And I'm trying to figure out what kind of food I want to put on this table. Like a watermelon? <laughs> this is going to be it's going to be mental. Maybe I'll just leave... Uh... No, I want to put food there. I know I do.
A bucket of fish. Okay, how about a plate of eggs? I got I got to make some decisions here. Th these people are sharing a plate of uh, eggs. <laughs> this is, I don't know. This is uh, when Astral's around. <laughs> be beware. <laughs> Played a ravioli, poodle hats. Thirty-five. What's thirty-five? Oh yeah. <laughs> there are so many. So many good Merrick blurps. I agree. So many good Merrick blurps, and like, there's none of like me and Chris. <laughs> Oops. Oh God. Uh, we're gonna put that there. These are grabbed, yeah, right from the D and D sessions. Hundred. Well, that calls for a. Or how about... <laughs> this is fun. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> who does the old man voice? That's uh, our friend Mitch, who just got married. Uh, he he used to play a character called Old Merrick. It's inc incredible. Let's see how long he can keep me from completing the map. It is Decker Kane. Yeah. This has become a different kind of stream. What is this, like... Like pork chops and beans or something? I don't know. Twenty fifty five two hundred. Oh god. Okay, so twenty. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't had this one yet. Insane. You're all out of your damn minds. Ooh, a pie. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, these are great. So what I needed to work on next is actually having them um, automated. Well, they they were before, but the problem was is that the players couldn't hear them. So I would be laughing, and like the players would be like, "What are you What are you laughing at?" <laughs> Yeah, so these are all share plates. This is a tapas tavern. I don't know where they have made ravioli and, like, whatever the hell that is, but. How do you get caught up and start listening on Tuesdays? Well, I got good news for you. Um, We only just started our new, um, I'm going to say, only, only just started our new uh, homebrew campaign. We're, like, three sessions in, so... It's a perfect time to get caught up, and we're actually starting that again next Tuesday. We usually do every Tuesday, but because of the wedding thing, we've the last two we've done map making streams, which I want to keep doing because I really enjoy making maps. And <laughs> thank you, Logan. <laughs> By the way, we have a Discord. Thank you. <laughs> I guess I got so caught up, and also links. <laughs> um. The story summaries for the discords are not caught up to to uh, where we are now, but um, we do a summary every session, so it's fairly easy to follow along. Hype train success. I received a level one hype train emote. Share. Look at that. Wow. Three subs, 1610 bits. There's only one thing I got to say about that. I just saved, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, any more sound bites? Or do I? <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, I know what we need. We need some lanterns. Sixty-nine. Giggity. I don't have a giggity one. 
But uh, I have this. Uh, is there like a ring? Ooh, look at that. Golden rings. Perfect. So I wonder. We do have deep sticky cave, but I didn't put it on the thing. It's not it's not on those ones, so I wish. It is on our collection. I'm gonna use these rings to like create like a lantern holder sort of thing. I think two lanterns would probably be good. And then maybe like one over here that he's got for himself. Astral, you're out of your damn mind. Is modding the Discord difficult? Um, considered it for Slate of Stars. Thanks for the cheer, Astral. You crazy son of a gun. It's not, um, super difficult. I mean, like, Yeah, the rats. I could add a rat or two. That might actually be good for the uh, the destroyed portion. Yeah, it depends what you mean by modding. Like, ours isn't, su isn't super, uh, like, advanced. And I kind of like it to be a little bit, um, you know, not too advanced. If we ever blow up really harder. God forbid. Uh, that ring was supposed to kind of be over that, but that's not quite what's happening here. Okay, I have to do something different for this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. <laughs> oh, are you in the Discord? Welcome to the Discord, Jen. Oh my god, Astral. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Alright. You asked for it. Yeah, me neither. That last one's specifically for you, Astral. <laughs> okay. Lanterns. My god. Epic. <laughs> it was epic. I'm glad I'm glad you're content. Uh I wanted to create like sort of like a metal looking thing. If I take this piece of wood. Oh, we actually have so <laughs> shameless plug. Um, we have a YouTube, um, and I believe that clip is in one of our, like, top of 2021, uh, stream moments. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's been distracting. <laughs> yeah, I think Rob, the Rob, the guy who did that was, uh, he was trying to cast, like, he had advantage on, like, Eldritch Blast. And he missed twice, and it just threw that one out there, and everyone just lost it. I maintain that Rob does not say much, but when he does, it's always gold. It was against a huge bird. <laughs> yeah, take a look. We've got some um, more stuff. I, I, I t say take a look as I save and block half the stream. Got some more stuff put down. Um... Chip wanted to add some rats, but I think I might save that for the uh, destroyed portion, um, which, uh, looking at the time, probably not going to get to that tonight, but um, is there anything else this tavern needs inside? I think. I mean, there's like shading and whatnot to do, but that's, uh, yeah, I got, I got a couple windows here on the wall. They're going to look a bit more... Um, a pit? <laughs> Just a bottomless pit. They're going to look a bit more defined once I have, like, light shining through them. Uh, I was going to add some, like, stains and stuff. I don't know if that's part of the, uh... Um... Sh uh, shading portion. 
You are apparently the current hype drain conductor, Astral, whatever that means. Uh, blood stains. I use the blood stains for stains. Blood splatter. Random. Take the brightness, turn it all the way down. And opacity down to like 0.25 and you got yourself some stains. Strippers, yep. So yeah, we'll put some stains uh, kind of on the table here. Very subtle. Stream has already gone off the rails. <laughs> Thanks for the gift sub. Arlie. Look at you. <laughs> Thanks, Astral. You have gifted, what, 43 subs? 44? <laughs> You're a madman, Astral. You are single-handedly, like, um, basically funding, like, me and my family. <laughs> I'm gonna actually legally change my daughter's name to Astral. <laughs> He's funding my baby, pretty much. <laughs> it's a support beam, not a stripper pole. Uh, I want this stain to be under that. There we go. That's right. <laughs> yeah, few few stains laying around ain't, ain't uh, uncommon in a uh, tavern, I don't think. And a couple on the dance floor, or whatever you want to call it. We're here for the yum-yums. Is that... That's below, or... Yeah, it's below. Okay, good. I can throw a couple blood stains on there, too. Hey, Beatrix, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the madness. The absolute calamity. Yeah, exactly, right? I mean, who knows? They threw threw things at the bards. Should I throw some blood stains? Some like faded blood stains? Is that what we're That's what we're kind of all about here? Could I turn the saturation down maybe would help? I've turned it down too much. Yeah, I suppose I should also mention, um, if you haven't heard, that we do normally um, stream D&D &D weekly. <laughs> Every Tuesday, we stream a homebrew campaign run by myself, and then we also stream to give myself a break. We kind of alternate. So one Tuesday we'll do Homebrew, one Tuesday we'll do Odyssey of the Dragonlord, where I actually get to play as a player. And uh, in both the streams, we have lots of viewer rewards, um, like channel point rewards that you can redeem to interact and actually do things. And I promise you, anytime you chat or talk in the stream, you will be acknowledged, you won't be ignored, so... <laughs> and especially in my Homebrew one, I have too many channel point rewards but you can actually spawn wild magic and totally ruin uh not ruin enhance the entire combat um and i have a a list of like a, a my own d100 wild magic table that i made that is not balanced at all i don't know if they've been ruined we just play it by ear man i like i like doing the improv that's my thing Okay, I am happy with the inside of this tavern for now. Ooh, how can I be a terrible DM? And you know what? I was doing research. Let me just get this thing up here. I was doing some research today on... Um, on... Uh, what was it? DM Horror Stories. D&D &D Horror Stories on uh, Reddit. So, terrible DM advice. Um... I would say, and this is sarcastic for legal reasons. <laughs> um, 
whenever you create uh, encounters or puzzles or any sort of like uh, thing that needs to be completed to progress, make sure there's only one way that that can be done. So for example, um, if you're in a dungeon and it's a, like a dwarvish dungeon and there's the puzzle has writing in dwarvish, make sure that the only way to get through that dungeon is that someone needs to speak dwarvish. And if none of the players speak it, then that's their own fault for not being prepared. <laughs> Literally something I read. Um... Oh no, <laughs> it's, it's such a common thing. I just read it on DM Horror or D and D Horror Stories on Reddit, like just read it like ten minutes before the stream. Like, so, oh, like there's nothing worse than making players feel like they made a mistake when they had no chance to know that ahead of time. Like, oh, you didn't choose the right class. It's like, well, you didn't tell me to choose that class. Otherwise, I would have chosen it, right? <laughs> am I happy with this railing? I am. Okay. I'm going to do the exterior now. I've been fluffing around here. We're, we'll do the shadows um, after. I can't help if they're dummies. <laughs> By all means, like, have a puzzle that they can't... Uh... Well, no, I, I, mean, I mean creating it so, like, the only way to go through is by knowing this one language and like that blocks all progress. And then and I think in the story, the DM got mad at them for that too. But it's if, if you have no prior knowledge that you need that language, like what, what are you supposed to do? Right? Like you make your character and you make it to the best of your ability. And like, you know, <laughs> it's kind of that by all means have, have puzzles that require like, um, different languages and whatnot that's fine totally fine but um you know if your players don't speak that language then there's not really much point in having the puzzle in the first place uh this is the front door here so i am going to do some shading now and i'll update it depending on uh i'm just kind of adding some like texture to the ground i'll update it depending on um the light that's coming through as well one thing I am going to do is I'm going to do some lots of attention around this thing. Maybe not that much. Because I really want this to look like it's hanging over the... So yeah, that looks like it has a bit more depth now. DM, you should have access to know what languages your players know. If you specifically design a puzzle that requires Dorvish with no other options and you know your party doesn't speak it, lame sauce. I mean, basically, unless unless there's, like, like other options, right? Like, okay, that would have helped you, you know, immensely to know that. You don't know it. That's, that's a shame. You know, on to option two. But essentially, from what I understand from the, um, from the post, it was basically... Oh, you, none of you speak, like, he was angry. He was angry that none of them spoke Dwarvish and was like, great, no one picked that. It's like, well. Speaking Dwarvish lets you get past, you know, a harder part of the puzzle. Great. You don't speak it, at least you have options. Or maybe you have some way you can come back later and, uh, you know, solve it. Or find someone who speaks Dwarvish. But it shouldn't be a total gate progress that's basically what i'm saying i think the horror story was more kind of how they dealt with it they didn't really um it sounded like they didn't really or they kind of got mad that <laughs> nobody spoke the language this area is just going to be darker because it's obviously Especially these back here. So 
Let's kind of darken these. Maybe just like these ones a little bit. Oops. Little bit darker. Something like that. Two hundred sixty eight changes. I feel like these lanterns are absolutely massive. I gotta do this at the same time here. Okay, so we're gonna do the exterior now. Now I have some plans. I have some plans here. I was gonna do like a road going along here. And then like a little path that goes up to the door. And then I kind of wanted a little lake. That's what I made in my original one. And I made the mistake of making the lake a different layer, like using a, this is foreground. I think I used the background for the lake. And I'm not going to do that this time. And I'll show you why if I get to it, because I've got some tricks. Yeah, this is going to be a tavern that's kind of, um, it's not going to have any other buildings near it. I was at first going to make it like um, in a, deep sticky forest. I was going to make it in a town, but I, I kind of want to have it outside of a town, like it, off a path. And you know what? I should actually base it off my map so I can use this later, but um, that's fine. I'll figure that out later. Anyway. So, first of all, we're going to change the background uh, texture to straight grass here. And do I want to change it to 50 maybe? Or is that too crazy? Let's try it out. This is all foreground. That's all background. So if I do this, it should be fine. Nice. How crazy is that? Doesn't look too bad. Oops. Um, and then we're going to grab a... I like the orange sand for paths. I don't know why, I just really like it. And we'll turn the saturation down a bit. Maybe turn the brightness down a bit. And we're just going to kind of put a... Actually, I might just do full opacity on this. We'll, we'll feather it out and make it look nice later. So it's just going to be a path that goes through here. And then like a little path that goes up to here. There you go. Check out Beatrix maps on Twitter. You will not regret it. They're pretty insane. The things that they do with lighting. I don't know. Bat shit crazy. We're going to have some little hills. I might even have like a sharp cliff here. I don't know. I like I like the idea of having like a sort of a rocky uh Oh, yo, Rocky Cliff, you know, hey, Asian. Yo, I don't know, Mickey. Um, I'll make sure I don't flip these around by accident. Have, like, sort of a rocky portion, and then maybe, like, a, a hill that comes off there. We have orange slash red clay here that you can see when the path is worn down. Yeah, it's kind of like a clay path a little bit. Yeah, it's insane, right, Chip? Like I said, some people are just like, steal all the talent from everyone else. And Beatrix is one of those people. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a, um, a mouse that has multiple DPI settings. It's super, super handy. Um, if you can get one of those, I don't know what your budget's like. I just got like a, I got a Razer, uh, Death Adder or some hyper aggressive name. Needlessly aggressive name. Razer Murder Shark Mouse. Why is it so many of these corner pieces? 
Sometimes the pieces it gives you are not quite cash money. <laughs> Nanaimo, Nanaimo bars for everyone. <laughs> let's just keep let's just keep building this cliff up. Rattler. Some people are just better than usual. Deal with it. No. I will not. I refuse to accept it. <laughs> uh, we're going to have some hills here. Some craggy hills. So I'm going to put the hills. They're going to kind of like... How about I do random? There we go. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't hate Nanaimo bars. I just don't really like them. does Astral eat for dessert? That's something I've been wondering for years. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Astral's pretty fucked. We're not entirely sure if he's like a space being or a human. Can't confirm. Kind of want this... Uh, tavern to be on like a bit of a hill or raised portion oh no way sometimes it just doesn't give me the cliff piece I want nope I want one that kind of like curves a little bit You like that? Yeah, so this kind of like goes up like that. Is that sort of the... Sort of kind of looks like that, right? And then... Yeah, I'll keep extending this out like that. No, I don't like that. I find these little uh, craggy heels sometimes really difficult to work with. So kind of go down like that. Want some more hilly portions here, I think. I might just have to. Chip? It's not a bad idea. Otherwise, they'd just go wherever. Yeah, so kind of like a little hill there. To be honest, I don't really have much of a plan right now with this. I'm just doing random things. We'll see how it turns out. Yeah, is it too early to do the lake? I'm going to actually extend this out. I think that I want this cliff to keep going. Words are hard. Okay, there's entirely too many of these, like, concave pieces or whatever you want to call them. Let's just keep extending it up that way, yeah. So there's going to be like a, a, I think a lake there. Yeah, 
And we're going to build a big old mountainy thing here. That's upside down. Sometimes it goes so quick I mess that up. Yeah. Some little mountains, some little hills here, some sharper cliffs, some bushes or something there. But I do want to have uh, yeah, I have another little one here. See that? Oops, what did I do? There we go. No. There you go. Those will look better once I actually put some uh, color on them. Oops. That's huge. Uh, nah. We'll leave that there. Want some little bit of a cliff under that or something to create like a little valley or something there. Just trying to create a little bit of 3D stuff. Yeah, it's insane, right, Astral? Crazy. And oops, 10 out of 10. So we'll take this and there'll be like, kind of, oh my God, my hands. Kind of like that. Done. I even choose this one here and just kind of brighten us up a little bit for the edge. It's too much. Just want to feather it out here. And we'll create some little different grass color there or something. We will make this look a bit better too. Must be getting close to the end of this playlist, I think. 474 changes. Let's do a save.
it's really daunting to try and like look at this and be like, okay, what do I add? But you just kind of got to start messing around with things, basically. Just mess around with it until it looks good, essentially. That's my technique. And because I made the uh, tavern uh, in the background and I'm working in the foreground, I don't have to worry about, like, if I'm clicking right now and nothing's happening there. So that's why I did that, in case anyone's wondering. So I'm a messy clicker. Oh, that's a lovely sound. Yeah. And we'll take this and we'll go a bit darker and really low passy, like 25. We're just going to create like little. What? Uh, yeah, it's 50, size 50. Okay. A little darkened portions here. Concerned, Astral. Really concerned. And you know what? We'll turn off the grid here. <laughs> yeah, roads are tough. I'm not going to lie. Roads are... Yeah, they're not... Uh... Not easy. What? 2,000 bits, you're out of your damn mind. You're out of your damn mind. Let's get a little bit of Jason in this. And Astral's, because Astral's crazy, I think. Uh... So, Chip, I'll show you something that I learned uh, recently. I saw someone else do this, but I take the uh, craggy hills terrain and I put it on, like, the lowest layer or, like, one of the lower layers, turn the opacity down, and I put it on the path. And then it kind of creates, like, a bit of a textured path, right? As long as you don't overdo it, it looks uh, it looks fairly okay. What do bits do? B bitch, bits. Wow. Uh, bits for Twitch streamers. Um. I mean, I think we get. I don't remember what the portion is, but we we get some of it. Like Bezos takes most of it, of course. <laughs> I did. I swore. Uh, but I I know the streamers do get some, yes. I can't remember how much it is at, at this point in time. But yeah, that's essentially you add those little texture marks there and it can create a little bit of a textured uh, feel. And I'm going to actually get rid of some of this. Um, I went a little bit overboard with the shadows. Winter Hills Path is a river with kind of the same technique. Oh, interesting, yeah. There you go. And I can add little track marks here. Go like 0.3 maybe. Okay. <clears throat> and let's work on these hills a bit. Stone. Uh, no, let's see what we got. Concrete. We'll go concrete. Hmm. 
Yeah, so we'll turn these from like grassy mountains to actual rocky mountains. And we can put the uh, little cracks in them as well. Give them a little bit of texture. And I kind of like the yellow grass a little bit, so I might put a bit of that here. So it's not all the same color. Six hundred and thirty three changes. Let's uh, do a zoom out on this. And then let me check my YouTube. Oh, yeah, I'm almost at the end of this one. So let's do a vote. Which uh, soundtrack are we doing next? Old school video games. So the uh, algorithm doesn't catch me or the bot or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, Earthbound. Solid choice. All right, we got two for Earthbound. Three, including myself. Or, yeah, I think it's going to be Earthbound. Gonna have to say Earthbound. Still a lot of open space in this map. But I'm probably going to add some like foliage going up into here, in that area. Maybe a little bit there. Yeah, there's no plant life yet. For sure. It's very open. This is why it's such a daunting map. And then we still got to work on this area too. There's just so much to work on. I really want to get um, most of this done. I'm not going to get all of it done, I don't think. This might have to be a multiple stream kind of deal. Um, in any case, I'm going to switch the music over now before it runs out. Uh, Earthbound OST. There you go. Three hours and ten minutes. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, that's loud as hell. What the frig? Jesus. Great. Good starting song. Okay, well, let me know if I need to adjust that volume. It's like as low as it can go right now. I think Earthbrown's kind of fucked, to tell you the truth. Boat.
Echo the dolphin, yeah. Catch this little boat to the dock here. There we go. This need to be perfect. So, 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 so. I was debating whether or not I want to duplicate it at this point, but I might make it full and then duplicate it after. Because I could easily just... Just for like the different like night and night and day versions. Winter was mostly the one I was worried about, but I think I'll be okay. Let's get some vegetation going on. So I really like these little um Liver warts, or whatever the hell they're called. Shadow Run. There's a game that I've like never played. Now, before I get too crazy, actually, I should make this. Ah, uh... Uh, yeah, uh, this is what I'm gonna work on next. Actually, I'm gonna. work on uh, the water. So I want to put this so it looks like it's going deeper, like off like a cliff or something. And if you remember what I said earlier, I said to put, not put the water on the background. And this is why, because if this was on background, these ones interact weird with the background. They don't, uh, like see that how they like kind of have that weird thing on them. I guess that's also because it's above it, but. Just put these all at the same layer. This is a lake, yeah. And this is just going to be a drop off in the lake. Got any bass in that lake? Probably. the hell is this music, man? <laughs> oh, man. Earthbound. Let's get some, like, uh... Rocks or something. Terrain. These ones are even deeper, so barely noticeable. Yeah, it was expensive, wasn't it? Uh, sure, I like that. Try that. Uh, yes, 100%. If only for the RP, that would, uh, ensue from that.
bigger boulders or something here. Not with a shadow, though. Not yet. Twenty-seven DM points. Yay! What can I do with the points? <laughs> I'll give you 13 of my 27 points, Poodle. How about that? This map is huge. I thought this was going to be like a small... Small little uh, tavern map, but I was like, Ah, oh, no, let's make it like the surrounding countryside. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to do like this a little bit. I don't want this to look too uniform. You know what I mean? Rana stamps. Ooh. Let's get some more foliage. Now, I really like using these reeds as, uh, like little bushes. Like little roadside bushes, kind of. Okay, here's a weird thing. So, this one's on randomized rotation, but I can turn it. Like, some of them can, some of them can't. And I'm going to kind of put this in front of that just to hide that little corner. I didn't like that corner, and now it's hidden. Pro DM tip. Don't like something on your map? Cover it up with a stamp. I kind of want to add some rocks here, too. Just a couple. Yeah, great soundtrack, <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe some bushes here, too. I'll put these along the house a little bit too. Music's great.
There we go. I love Dark World and Link to the Past. There we go. Before I do that, maybe put some rocks down so I can kind of put the bushes around the rocks a little bit. Some bigger ones here. I don't like that. That's like right on the edge. That rock would have fallen. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to add a couple up here too. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh, any percent speedrun of Link to the Past. I've seen a few of those. Glitchless or... Nice. So I want to... What do I want to do here? Foliage. I want some... Summer bushes. I suppose. Is that above that? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm going to create some little... Uh... Hold on. I was doing this. I, I kind of wanted to frame the path with a little bit of these guys here. I like doing that. <laughs> so uh, have some these will kind of determine where our trees are I think I'll put the trees down first actually I'm flip flopping all over the place here I can't figure out what I want to do <laughs> Dying trees. These don't look like dying trees. Because I like these uh, trees where you can kind of see through them a bit. So I might just use these ones. We're going to get rid of the shadows on those. And that's why. Because look at the shadows on that look really bad. <laughs> what is this called? Dying trees. Dying. Select 10 matching and shadow none. Boom. There we go. Create my own shadows. So those are on layer 2. Yeah, I might even just use these as bushes, actually. Yeah, that's right. It's a bit busy. To be honest, 
What if I use these ones? Maybe I don't like these trees. Maybe I really don't like them. Maybe I'll just use the regular. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I like these ones a bit better. If I do like this, no, that's too big. Using these as kind of the undergrowth a little bit. <laughs> I bet you do. Oops, what am I doing? Oh, that shadow. Awful. Oops. What? what layer are these bushes on? Let's add some smaller rocks kind of scattered about. Well, we're getting there. Couple fallen trees, maybe? That'll make your insurance go up. Almost looks like a map. I know, right? <laughs> there you go. It's more affordable. What am I doing? These should be like that. Because this is the daytime. Almost made a complete idiot of myself here. Whew. That was close. Okay, now it's time to do some shading and whatnot so if i go like this and 
we kind of do a little bit of tomfoolery here. Anything that's covered kind of by trees is getting a little bit of a little bit of shade. Or by the tavern itself. And we'll add some actual soft shadows later. But for now. Give a bit the ground a little bit of texture. This will actually make the map look about a hundred times better. So check this out. Sun's gonna be coming from this side. Uh yeah, this this uh door here. I don't know if you can see that. That's gonna lead to an upper room. I uh, I may do the upper room as part um part of my tentative plan. Once this was 100% finished, um, I'm going to have multiple versions of this map, like a winter, a night, uh, maybe a broken. And I think I'm going to put it all on co coffee as like a pack, like a tavern pack. So if I do that, I will definitely have an upstairs just so it's more complete. I thought that might be kind of interesting if people are interested in that. A little bit of brightness there. This is all going to be brighter because the sun is going to be hitting it more. And this will be a bit... Uh, I might leave that for shadows before I touch that. And I wonder... I wonder... Type in grass. There's this little grass texture. I wonder if that would look any good on that. Can't really notice it. I don't know. I'm not really seeing anything. If this were um, part of my map, and I imagine this being somewhere in the region like Goldsworth or something, it would probably pay tax to the Empire in my world. But other than that, it would pay tax to whoever's the local duke or whatever of the duchy. So I guess technically they pay tax to the Duke of Goldsworth, and then that he would pay his sort of whatever he's got to pay to the the liege all right time to do the fun stuff so i wanted to get this this uh started i got about 30 minutes before i gotta think about shutting her down because of screaming child this is the fun stuff so we can take that we can make it kind of longer. Lighting! It is! It's the part that, like, brings the map out the most. Whoa! Is that too much? Let's start with this.
Uh, problem is I did so many other brushes. I wish you could, like, save a brush. Yeah, it's basically sunrise, essentially. And then we will take this and just kind of I normally prefer doing like the soft shadows to like the hot hard shadows. I know some people will like take the actual stamp and uh um turn the brightness down and use that, but you can make it a favor with that thing in the top right of the texture peer view. Oh my god. <laughs> I believe I said at the beginning of the stream that I am not an expert. <laughs> Thanks, Chip. Pro tip. Pro tip from Chip. Oops. Yeah, that would have been smart. I'll remember that for next time. So I'm going to make this thing nice and big and change the width. I'm going to try and make my own. I know they have god rays, but I actually kind of like to make my own god rays. And I just kind of place them around. I don't want them to be too crazy. Ten out of ten. of a shine somewhere maybe I don't know and then just drag the shadows a little bit away from the light there You can go crazy with the little rocks if you wanted to. If you were out of your damn mind. What is this music, man? <laughs> Oh, man. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> computer noises. Noises of a computer. Really? I only know Earthbound. And even then, not that much. Okay, let's put some more. Let's see if we can get some more of those shooting around the corner here. I want to try and create like a sort of like a light beam filtering around there. If that makes sense. It's so easy to overdo it with the light, though. Like that. <laughs> but, like, kind of want to extend it out so it kind of does that a bit, if that makes sense. And do the same thing up here. That looks goof. <laughs> Gorsh. Well, I have like, yeah, some spots where the sun is kind of like hitting a little bit. Wouldn't be right there. Maybe be up here a little bit, just kind of over the tavern. This is a two story tavern, so we keep that in mind here. And it would definitely hit along here. So if I take this, copy, switch it kind of like that, and turn it down a bit. I don't know. Is this... Is that below that? Is that why it looks so... No. So, something about this rock is just not sitting well with me. I don't know. Makes you want to up your lighting game? Well, I'm glad I can inspire... Squareness. Yeah, it is like square on one side. It's a weird looking rock. Oh no, what? Do we get rid of it? Screw this rock. They are. I, I much prefer the actual, the, the hell stamps, taking them and then saturation completely off. You get better uh, stamps out of those, to be honest. <laughs> Sometimes. I think maybe do something like this. I don't know. Nah, now I'm just messing around here. Getting nitpicky. Let's just put this one right here. How about that? No, nah, I don't like that one either. Tell you what we're going to do. Put some bushes right there. We'll put some foliage. Well, flowers or something. Not lavender. Yeah, sure, why not lavender? There. An unmarked grave. <laughs> Let's 
You know what I really wish Incarnate had? And I'm probably going to say this and then someone's going to tell me it does have it, because that's just what happens. I wish it had a deselect key. Huh? Huh? <laughs> does it? It's like, I don't want to have this light selected. Like a hotkey for deselecting. Please say yes. Control. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is correct. That's what I mean. <laughs> wow. This is why it's helpful to stream map making because you actually end up learning more than you than you end up showing people. So, well, what else do we need in here? I got just over fifteen minutes, basically. We're not going to get the different versions of the map today, but. I will make those another time. Usually add a filter too. I like cool and warm. The cool and warm filter has been um, serving me well. I think that looks kind of nice. Corrupted Essence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a different sort of tavern. Gloom and Doom. Overcast is cool. Oh, this one. There we go. That makes the map look better. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with cool and warm. For all the drunks. This tavern was made in drunk vision. I don't know. I think I'm pretty happy with where it is now, to be honest. That's true, yeah. I know people have get uh, cr um, creative with like the the clipping uh, stamp. Some people get super creative with that. Another thing I wish Incarnate had, and I, I, I really don't think it does, is um, a color picker tool. Like, say I've got my color up here and I just want to, you know, the eyedropper or whatever the hell it's called. Click that and then I get the exact hue and saturation and everything. That would be super handy. I want to uh, darken this a bit with that light. The ocean, or not the ocean, the lake got a lot, a lot brighter. So ah, I hate that.
Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oops. Well, I'm definitely going to start making a brush library because there have been so many times where I've created like a brush type and I've been like, oh yeah, I really like that. And then I try to recreate it later and it's gone and I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> Yeah, no worries, Radar. I think I'm going to be wrapping her up pretty quick here. Hopefully we'll see you at the session next week. Our first d d in forever. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way this stands now. I'm probably going to mess around with it and uh, make different versions of it. But for now... Um, I'm fairly happy with this. And I got to start wrapping things up soon anyways, so... Yeah, thanks for everyone who came here. That was a fun time. First ever hype train. <laughs> that was... The, uh... Blurps were insane. <laughs> I'll have to figure out a way to do hotkeys for those. <laughs> Had a lot of fun, learned some new things, got some new people here, which is cool. Thanks everyone for showing up. And yeah, if you guys like D&D, uh, &D, we stream that every week. Tuesday, next Tuesday, we're going to be playing our homebrew, massive homebrew world. Thank you, Astral got a discord we've got all the links so the youtube you can see some clips of our sessions um twitter but some of you are from there so you know that um the coffee and the free maps and whatnot uh but yeah our stream our regular D, &D stream at least the homebrew one is very much uh chaos incarnate <laughs> there's a lot of uh viewer channel point things the viewers can do to uh affect Especially battle. I think battle's the biggest thing, but there's lots of other things that go on, too. And, uh, yeah, it's always a good time. So, if you're interested in D&D, that's 7 p.m. Pacific Standard every Tuesday. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll see you there. Wild magic is crazy. And I made my own two custom wild magic tables. I didn't like the regular one, Astral, and I, I think you can agree that the regular one was very lackluster. Although the new one, you you ended up getting like probably the most boring option on there. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. It's like all your water like turns into beer or something like that, and like Logan, Logan's like one canteen like had a little bit of water in it and it turned to beer. But the other ones are crazy. <laughs> 